Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. As we head into the new year on EAFC 24, are we reaching a point on the market where some of these cards are too cheap? Are we ready for some prices to go up a lot? Maybe on these cards that are going out of packs today, or maybe just some of the Winter Wild Cards. We saw Winter Wild Cards Team 1 do very well out of packs. Will the same happen for Team 2 and Team 3? We're going to talk about that, the crazy market movements that are happening because of yesterday's evolution and still an evolution that is yet to come. And maybe EA starting off the year pretty nice with a good SBC player today. Finally, we'll see. All right, my hopes are not up because yesterday, again, was not a good SBC player. But we'll cover all that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's content on Sunday. Now, just a heads up, I am recording this a bit early, of course, getting prepared for the new year. So this is being recorded just a couple hours after the content drop. But yesterday in objectives, we did have some new draft objectives also corresponding with a draft token SBC. This is gameplay demand, not for cards that will maybe go up on the market, but this is actually a decent objective guys if you want to go and give draft a try you have to play 10 and win 10 online to get it fully completed but it actually might be kind of worth going for even if you're just th thinking from the aspect of evolutions since evolutions have been so popular recently javi simons marta and jonathan david are available for playing four games in this draft mode uh, these were all SBCs during their respective promos and they were dropped. This Jonathan David got some upgrades. It looks pretty nice. Marta, decent card. Javi Simons, that's an 84 rated card. Yes, with uh, 90 pace, but potentially evolvable. I don't know if he's already evolvable. Probably not. But this might be a draft that is worth doing because now more and more when I get cards like this in my club, especially with Evos being the way they have been, I'm less inclined to put them into SBCs and I'm more inclined to maybe hold on especially because you never know what they might turn out to be. So I think that objective is nice. If you want to grind the game this week, we don't have a cup. We have draft. Think of it in that sort of way. That was basically our content yesterday. Now, today's a huge day for content inside of this game with the daily login, right? Daily login. Today is day 12, which means everybody's getting an 84 times 20, which is going to work its way into our conversation about the market going up in some areas. I think that is going to make some people want to go to SBC. So we're going to be watching the five part of the market i'm gonna take uh let's take rabio we're gonna try his card out for from that loan but today is the last day of that login so we'll be watching out for that for sure now speaking of sunday content we got to talk about the sbc that dropped yesterday we talked about this in yesterday's video i was hoping for the icon pack we got the hero player pick it is one of three and it does include the triple threat heroes and like we thought it had to be cheap, and it was. This SBC is only 80,000 coins, guys. 75k. And you know what? An 85-rated squad with the team of the week shouldn't be 75k, except for the fact that informs are now like 45 to 50,000 coins, right? Their prices have been exploding because everybody wants to go and do this SBC. So if you risked it all and went after informs, GG, because 45 to 50,000 coins for all these cards right now, as I'm recording this video, they are up big, right? Up almost 10,000 coins a card. I think people are selling them at 50k um, because of the demand for this SBC simply, right? Also, as you take a look at the popular page on Footbin, you see that a lot of people are looking at these hero cards because it does include the triple threat cards. I think it being cheap and including these cards has got a lot of people interested. Govu was 190,000 coins dropped off right after content to 170. Maybe he's bouncing back a little bit right now. Like we said yesterday, there's not many triple threat heroes that you can get from this pick, but the fact that it's a one of three and it's so cheap makes it an SBC that obviously a lot of people like to do. And uh, I really have no problem with it, right? I think it's actually helping out the prices of 83s, 84s, and 85s too, because it's an 85 rated squad. So specifically your 84s, they're not dropping today. Other fodder is. 83s are up. They're 1.2 to 1.3k per card. So those are going up because we have demand for that lower tier part of the market with a lower rated squad requirement in that SBC. Now, the other SBC that we had yesterday was Davor Sukair. And man, again, the, the trend continues. Just another just decent SBC. Like, is it decent? Is it bad? Four star, four star, left footed. He's got quick step plus. He's six foot and high medium, left sided player. The card stats aren't bad. I just think I'd rather get like, 
I don't know, somebody off the, like John Barnes on the market is better than this, in my opinion. And he's 50,000 coins. I think the Luis Hernandez is better than that one. So again, we're a little bit disappointed by the Sucare SBC. Uh, of course, uh, today, I believe, is the last day of the 83 times 10, or yesterday, sorry, was the last day. This is, the SBC expires today. I hope it's a part of the upgrade packs that come out, right? We are lacking in upgrades at the moment compared to last week. And uh, that could actually help the market rise if there's less upgrade packs to grind and to do on the menus. That might mean some prices on the market actually go up, believe it or not, if the content's not that good. We're going to talk a bit more about that today. But before we get to that, before we get to market, we had content yesterday that was good. I mean, this evolution, it, at face value, it just looks decent, right? Crossing Crusader, there are two different versions of this, and it just looks okay at face value because you're like, mm, you know, the upgrade there, you get a nice pace upgrade, three shooting, two passing, two dribbling, three defense, and two physical. It's a nice upgrade up across the board, especially for the pace, right? You get the first touch and whipped pass play styles. Again, Crossing Crusader, so they got to give you that whipped pass play style for sure. It's a nice Evo, but where this Evo really shines is with the uh, ability to double Evo cards. Guys, there are cards right now in the market that are flying or that are in extinct again because of how crazy this Evo is. If you take a look at Footbin, it's actually a downvoted Evo, but I think that it should not be downvoted uh, because there are so many insane combinations that you can make through this. If I take a look uh, at Crossing Crusader 1, there is another version of David Alaba now, guys, that has not only his inform extinct, but his regular gold card. Take a look at this Evo. Um, where is it at? I, f I forget where the Alaba Evo is. Let me just look up his card on its own because Alaba's gold card is going bananas. He's 10,000 coins. He's extinct. Check out this Evo because of the Crossing Crusader. You put him into Crossing Crusader, then put him into Pep's Legacy, and you get yourself a 93 rated David Alaba card, which is similar, but actually I would say almost better to the one uh, up here that you have to put in the team of the week upgrade with his inform and then into Pep's Legacy. You still get the incisive pass. You get plus two pace over this one. You still a four star, five star, a little bit lower passing, 95 to 93, a little bit lower dribbling. 90 to 9 to 87 but you don't have to pay for the inform or the team of the league upgrade and all you have to do is get the gold card put them into that that is a crazy crazy evolution uh for a couple of these double upgrades now another one that i want to mention to you is ranieri you maybe noticed this ranieri card on the market is going bananas in price as well he's like max price eighty-eight thousand coins because he can play left back and center back so basically you're evolving this card in crossing crusader and then into pep's legacy look at this card guys 89 pace 91 defense 82 physical four star five star with all of those traits i have one in my club that is a crazy card so that is making some prices move today because you can see um a lot of these are going up because of the double evo combinations that you have now that's only the left back one if you look at the right back option as well there are some pretty nice cards in here but i think the left back one is probably garnering a little bit more hype uh, because of those crazy double evos you can have with some of the left back players that can also play center back so a solid evolution i like that it is free right and i also like that it's out for i think it's out for like 20 days um so yeah it's a really good one man i really like this crossing crusader one make sure again since it's left back and right back you can see here even my evo bensa viney fits into this what does he look like at the end 87 pace um, that's a pretty nice card as well. And he can play center back, left back, right. And he's already got the uh, play style plus for a slide tackle. So I'm going to have to think about maybe evoing Ben Sabani there. But there's the Ranieri card. Just make sure you pick the right one, right? The left back one does seem to be a little bit more insane than the right back one for cards that are in the game, especially for my club. But both of those, I think, are very solid. And they're not that many games to get done. But as you can tell on the market, that is what is impacting prices a lot today. You see the front page of Footman. You've got Extinct Alaba. You've got a Danilo. This Danilo card, I think, is going up because of that Evo. Ranieri is 80,000 coins, and he was basically discard before this. I mean, 16, 15,000 coins up to 20K, and now he is almost extinct at 90,000 coins at the moment, which is crazy, right? And that's another reason why, for the market right now, I'm trying to stay away from center backs because it has impacted center back prices. I'm taking a look at Virgil van Dijk, arguably the best center back in the game, specifically on a budget, and he was down below 100,000 coins, or is now down below 100,000 coins at the moment. 
Uh, that's a card that is down in price, and a lot of other center backs are down in price, left backs as well, because of that evolution that dropped yesterday. Now, other content that we had, we did have our usual store packs that were released, and it is making some prices move on the stuff that is in packs. Of course, with that Evo content, with the um, player pick content for the hero player pick, it is making some prices dip a little bit. We have ourselves the 84 times 10 that has been out. We've got ourselves that lightning round supply, and that is making some fodder go down a little bit. Also the 10 and 30 coin packs, and I will uh, tell you guys to notice this, the 10 coin pack will come back today on Monday, but the 30 coin pack is maybe not gonna come back, but it won't come back until Tuesday, right? One day, 23 hours. This is not gonna come back until we get to like the Tuesday content time. So that's kind of all of the stuff that we had yesterday. Now let's talk market a little bit, right? Because I've been very interested in the market these past couple of days. I think a lot of you guys have been as well. The market's been really, really good to trade in and out of. And with all the content that we have had, um, you know, albeit yesterday, con I'd say content on Sunday was like, I don't know, maybe a seven out of 10. The Evo is nice, probably not for everybody but it is nice. Uh, the SBC, yeah, it's solid, but I think we're at a point where the content looks to be at a place where it's gonna be slowing down. We know that we can't get insane Evos day after day after day, insane SBCs day after day after day. I think that throughout this next week, it's gonna be an opportunity where we see the content levels continue to just be kind of where they've been at, but with so much hype and demand for the Winter Wildcard players and for players in this game right now, there's a lot of new players playing this game. That's why we've been continually talking about cards on lower price budgets. Look at McManaman, 130,000 coins. He's up 30K, 40K from where he was. Julie is up a lot from where he was. Of course, the Dudek card, even though EA gave out a free Dudek to everybody, his card price is still doing fantastic. Phil Foden's 170K. He is up massively. The low tier part of the market is doing so well on this game. I think this might be the buy point, especially for the cards that are in packs between Winter Wild Cards Team 2 and Team 3. I think we're getting at a point in the market this week where prices could rise a good amount as we head throughout the rest of this week. And I think that specifically for the cards in packs, we might be in the low point, right? A lot of times for promo teams, cards hit their lowest either on Sunday or Monday in that time frame early in the week, or they hit their lowest on Thursdays, right before they go out of packs. And if Winter Wild Cards Team 1 was any indication of how that might work out this week, I think it could be similar, right? Remember the ball day, the Enzo Fernandez, those lower tier of cards, they hit their lowest last week on Tuesday. Now I know last week on Tuesday and last week we had crazy, crazy evolutions, but after that card prices really started to rocket Wednesday to Thursday as there was so much gameplay demand and these cards were so very popular. I think there's not gonna be as much evolution hype, right? Yes, we had a good one yesterday. We could have another good one today that could impact prices, but I still think that this is gonna be almost a low point between Sundays drops with supply, supply ending, right? We always talk about the most supply being on the weekends for a lot of these cards and between weekendly rewards coming out tomorrow and Tuesday. It's not today on Monday because the weekend is extended a day for the holidays in this season. Um, but I think with winter wildcard players having so much hype and also with the content being okay, not amazing, right? I would say content this week, you guys probably agree, not as great as last week, but I think that makes me want to invest in these cards even a little bit more. But you're like, Nate, what cards do I buy, right? We've got two teams of Winter Wild cards in our packs right now. What players in this team stand out to you the most? Well, personally, some of the players that stand out to me the most are the ones that have um, the biggest names and the big biggest links to the biggest clubs. Kunde, right, is one to me that 190,000 coins for a special version of Kunde. I know this card being 400K probably influences my thinking. Like this card's 400,000 coins. And this one's 193K. So this one's half the price of his other card. And it's genuinely not that different, except for you get more passing and you're one less pace and you have a different play style and the fact that he can't play center back, right? You can move him around in game and play him center back in game and this card will still be very good as a center back. The fact that he's 200K less is kind of crazy to me. Kunde is a card that usually does really well out of packs anyway. Goretzka for 220,000 coins. This is one of the best midfielders in the Bundesliga right? I think he's pretty low. People still using Kane uh, for Bundesliga links there. Adiyemi is a, is a player with pace that is always, always, always hyped. And he is down 50k today. That is a crazy drop. Is he worth 200k? Not really, 
right? You look at that card, you're like, okay, yeah, he's 4-4, four, four, he's, he's all pace, right? But it's the hype, right? It's it's the name, it's the dynamic image that looks kind of fun that makes Adeyemi's card interesting to me. Casemiro and Courtois, I have to shout them. I think Courtois might be one of the worst cards in the game, but it's a striker Courtois, and people are going to want to try him out. I think there's potential with this team, but notice the cards that I'm pointing out, guys. They are towards the cheaper tier, all around 200,000 coins and below. It doesn't mean that I don't like Saliba, right? I'm worried about Saliba if we get a good center back Evo today because his base gold kind of fits that Evo. But this is a card, too, is one of the better center backs in the Prem. Uh, this is a card that would be in demand. I just like the lower tier because the lower tier is what has been moving the most on this market. So take a look at Team 3 and Team 2. And guys, Team 2 is a bit interesting because these cards have been in packs now for longer than uh, Team 3. These cards have been in packs for a, almost like a week and a half in total, which means they should have more supply. But I, I still think there's cards in this team that could end up doing well. I'm not really liking Kyle Walker. He, yes, is rare, but with center backs and defenders, right, with all the Evos, maybe another Evo like we mentioned. We'll look at that in a second. I'm not a huge fan of him, um, although I could see him going up like 20, 30,000 coins. We also have a center back from the Premier League that's going to be released as an SBC here very soon as well. John Stones. So I'm a little careful with Kyle Walker. Same thing with Alaba. Everybody's doing an Evo for Alaba. I don't think I want to buy the Winter Wild Cards one. But a card from team number two that interests me a little bit is Mukiele. Like, this is a PSG linking right back. You compare him to Jonathan Klaus, right? I've been trading with Jonathan Klaus. This card's 107,000 coins with whipped cross or whipped pass plus. He's got solid play styles apart from that a five star weak foot he's got medium high work rate so a little bit more defensive but psg links for a right back for a hundred thousand coins is crazy and you see that i've been selling this klaus at two 240 260 with that lucky one right that's a crazy price difference for a card that with mukiele he's just a little bit lower on pace but he's way better passing and dribbling and the same defensively I think that Mukiele card is pretty cheap. Yes, he's going to be supplied a lot, but 100k for that to me sounds like a, at least a semi-safe buy compared to the rest of the cards that are out there right now. I think a lot of people will be interested in investing in this card as well because it is PSG links. So I think that one is a, is a favorite of mine. And I like the low budget icons too. I like Raquel May. I like Barnes. Hierro, not really. I don't think he's worth 150k. Yes, he's got 99 defense, but... Not a huge fan of that one. So I am a fan of these cards, man. I will say it. Now, they could go a little bit lower today on Monday, depending on what the content is. But this is probably something that you're buying on the lower tier, and you're holding it until maybe the end of the week, right? Think about the promo that we have leaked right now. It's the Fire and Ice promo, right? And unless the leaks start looking really insane for that, we know we're getting a special Neymar card for that promo. Okay, how many of us are going to pack a special Neymar? very very few if basically nobody like these winter wild card items are pretty affordable the fire nice promo has not been good in the past the last time that it was dropped so people are going to remember that and there's just so much demand for the lower tier there's so much demand for people to build teams right now in this game so that's why i like the market a lot and i want to spend time talking about that today now one of the last parts of the market that i do want to mention is the winter best of these cards yes they've been in packs for like 10 days or something like that but there are some cards in here that have already started to rise they some of them hit their lowest points last week but i think they're still investable um, because these cards are still pretty rare after being in packs for two weeks like alfonso davies is 390k he's going up he was 360 earlier in the day yesterday radioactive valverde uh is still right around a million coins this is a card that i think Yes, is a bit expensive still, but I think it's a card that a lot of pros use. He gets a lot of hype. A million coins for him seems decent. Messi with Radioactive. Um, Messi had a promo card that was re-released last year during um, the Christmas period, the holiday period. Uh, and it went up like, I think, 100,000 coins or 200,000 coins after it went out of packs after being re-released. This Messi gets links. It's his best version for right now. Maybe he gets another version during Team of the Year. I'm a fan of this card if you can get it for like 1.1 lows. I think his lowest price was like 1.1, I don't know, maybe like 1.17 or something like that. Under 1.2 is probably decent. I could see this card being in 1.3 next week. And even Conte is a card that I would shout like, Conte was 400,000 coins at his lowest. What is he right now? He's still close to that, 418K. This is, I mean, you got links to the Saudi league here. You've got uh, just Conte with pace. It's a solid card and it's decently rare. So 
any of these cards some of them have already started to go up but also include these in your list of like okay maybe i could buy but try to stick to the more rare ones teo hernandez his he's gone his price started going up a lot diani graham hansen would be other cards that i would throw into this and maybe even card chowi right that's one of the best left backs with a psg linkage to it i think that's a good card as well so that's kind of the meta market of course it goes without saying guys the out of packs market will do really good too. You see a lot of my transfer list here, right? I got uh, I got a, a Betty Pele. I've got Julie. I've got this Jude Bellingham. I have a lot of out of packs cards like this Inform Sun. Sun is a card that people who log on to this game they want to use. They know that he's cracked, and this is his most affordable but also best version on the market right now for 350k, which is low. I picked one up at 340. Full disclosure. So I like a lot of the meta market that's out of packs as well. I'm just trying to keep it to the cheaper stuff if possible, because what is still upcoming. Now, last part about the market is fodder. Fodder, once again, as we talked about in yesterday's video, it's still really low overall. And wow, guys, 88s are now 16K again. I think this is a great opportunity to get involved on the 87s and 88s. If you did not get involved yesterday with the supply from Lightning Rounds, these might be some of the last Lightning Rounds that we have. They'll probably run a couple during the week this week, but I doubt there's going to be that many. I think it's a good time to get a club stock in on these once again, because this price for 88 is crazy. They might not go up for two weeks, but if you put some in the club at 16K or put some on the transfer list, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Same thing with 87s. Since it was a hero player pick that was dropped yesterday, and it's only 78K, right? It's a lot of the low tier fodder that's maintaining price. 83s are up, 84s are rising, 85s are up, but the 86s are good to get on bid all the way up until the 90s and even 91 kdb i think is good for a once again club stock i don't know if i go crazy with it they could be in for a rise still before team of the year which is still about two three four weeks away probably about three weeks away so i still like that part of the market as well now let's talk about monday content because i've been alluding to it a couple of times and i want to start off with the part of content today that actually could impact the market the most and that would probably be this evolution right this is the evo it's called keep up and it might not be today full disclosure but it is the only leaked evolution that we have right now it's all positions maximum overall 85 but the biggest part about it is players gain the jockey play style plus which this could be pretty good because that's a really, really good playstyle plus. And since it gives out a playstyle plus, I do have to think that it would be a paid Evo. But this could be a really nice one, right? This is why Saliba and his card was up a lot. His gold card before he was in the promo team, his gold card was up a lot because people saw that leak and they're like, ooh, he fits that, he fits that Evo. And if you give him jockey playstyle plus, that would make this card, even if it's not as good as the 87 winter wild cards, maybe still better in game because of that playstyle plus that he would have it upgrade this to a plus so i know that this card has jockey with intercept plus and bruiser so we'll have to see what other play styles it gives and how good of a stat boost it gives but if it's a cheap evo and it doesn't cost uh that many games to play as well you know what center backs could get hurt in price again and that could hurt a little bit of the market if that is to come out today on monday maybe even tomorrow on tuesday so i think that could hurt the market a little bit and then also our daily player SBC today is Crepin Diada. EA, please start off the year with something nice, okay? Please. Crepin Diada, four-star, four-star. Maybe you remember his what-if card from a couple of uh, FIFA's past. He is a super sub pacey beast, okay? Very, very good. Explosive in nature for his uh, rapid and quick step play styles as well. Hopefully, this is a cheap one that is just a super sub for a lot of people. I don't think that would impact the market a ton if it's cheap. And if it's a, a super sub, but uh, that is our SBC that we should be getting today. And then, of course, as I mentioned as well, we should have the 84 times 20 that everybody gets from the daily login. And of course, Mondays are upgrade pack days. So EA, please give us the 80 plus player pick. But I will say if we don't get the 83 times 10 back, I think we'll get something right. Maybe it's an 84 five. We'll get some sort of upgrade pack. Hopefully we get the 80 plus player picks. But if it's not a good day of content today, that's going to even help the market more and more so it's kind of like the mix of two things we want good content but if you're investing maybe you want the content to be a little bit average i think today will be a decent day of content hopefully they give us the good upgrade packs that we do want uh the year in review is still available for one more day if you haven't done it yet and then uh other than that yeah a lot of the upgrade sbcs have expired no 85 plus player pick right now um uh, and all of that is gone. So I do believe we'll get some other sort of upgrade pack today. They won't just leave us hanging with the um, 
the Winter Wild Cards Crafting Upgrade. Please bring back the 80+, plus though, because that did bring a lot of hype to the menus. But if we even don't get that, again, like I said, prices could do well. Let's end with an 80 times 10 for the... Ooh! Promo! Uh, okay, well, that is the... Uh, oh, what's his name? 99 shooting from Frankfurt. Uh, I forget his name at the moment. Sh Shikari. 99 shooting. I think that's a duplicate as well. I've been packing a lot of the duplicate Winter Wild Cards recently. Yeah, and you can tell he is a... So I'm going to have to go rinse that into the whole SBC. But guys, that's the video for today. I'm making some moves on the market. It's all about timing when it comes to buying the cards in packs. And I think timing it in the next day or so is probably going to be our best shout. A lot of people are going to want to be investing in these cards as well. So just be careful. There could be overinvestment, but I think it'd be a good time to get involved here soon. If you're excited for a market rise this week, drop a thumbs up on the video. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Wood Accountant. See you guys in a video tomorrow. Peace out.